Hi, I am Sarah from Plastic Free Southeast Asia. Nice to be speaking with you all today. Uh, Plastic Free Southeast Asia began in Cambodia in 2015 uh, and has expanded throughout Southeast Asia and into Australia. I am considered a regional expert on uh, plastics and waste management and I specialize in behavior change training, so stopping plastic pollution at the source. For example, in Australia, 2.7 million coffee cups per day are thrown away, which is over a billion a year. And these are the kind of things that are ending up in our oceans, in our environment, or just filling up landfills. None of that is particularly good. Uh, in fact, it's also really creating a negative impact on our health and well-being. If we look in at Southeast Asia, you can see that there is some data on where most of the plastic pollution is coming from. So why am I focusing on restaurants? The way I see it is that restaurants have the ability to affect people at multiple different levels from the supply chain. How can we influence those suppliers that are coming into our restaurant uh, and changing the way that business as usual has been done before to make it better into the future. Having conversations with those suppliers and changing the relationship, asking for produce to be delivered without packaging, thinking about what different kinds of packaging we can use, how can we move to more reusables or encourage BYO uh, and that kind of thing to alleviate the need to have so much supply to begin with. That's the staff, they're the building blocks of any restaurant business. They're the ones that are facing your customers, dealing with your suppliers and also interacting with the community. So it's really important uh, to have the staff on board with environmental protection and doing things in a better way. Then there's your customers. It's key to communicate well with your customers. If you're making a change away from single-use plastics, bring your customers on that journey as well and in the community. Being part of the wider community is so important. It's super relevant for sustainable businesses and restaurants in particular are a place where the community come together to meet. 50% of staff surveyed want more purpose for work when they can attach themselves to a bigger goal, something that's more beneficial for the greater good. They're gonna be happier, more loyal and stick around longer. And 88% of your customers want you to do better too. They want to do better in their own lives, but they're looking to the businesses that they buy from to take that lead for them, to show them the way, to encourage them, enable them, and support them in achieving that goal. So how can you change? Something I can't stress enough is that you need to bring your team to the table. This is so important. When you bring your team to the table, when you bring everybody into the discussion, you're really going to start to see some magic happen. I've seen it time and time again. Business owners and managers tell their team what they want to see rather than inviting them in and working it out together. This is stressful for the managers because you're trying to take the whole world on your shoulders and it's not motivating for your team. When you do it all together, it's less stressful for everyone involved and much more impactful. Here's a brief video from David Sterling, who is the owner of the Little Red Fox Espresso Cafe in Siem Reap, Cambodia, and he talks about exactly this. Is that during that great pause time, you know, with the lack of tourism and everything that happened during then, is that, you know, we stayed open the entire time. And as the cafe owner, I took the brunt of that because I saw a great opportunity of being able to work so intently with my team to pull apart our entire menu and go, okay, what is, what is imported? What costs more? What leaves more waste? And actually be able to work with my team to look at the issues that we've got in the cafe and develop a holding time menu that is locally sourced, locally grown, comes from small farmers, organic, fair trade, all those buzzwords that you hear everywhere is just, you know, something that I'm so proud of my team taking on board because when you show your team cash flow in, cash flow out, especially in difficult times, you know, they really get, well, my team really, really got that, okay, this stuff really matters. You know, instead of buying this stuff from here, 
we can now go to a local man in the village and buy that and it's it's a fraction of the cost we don't have to use plastic and so to build the business around with the team has given such an ability to create a strong basis for the cafe i guess and a strong basis for the team a couple of other tools that you can put in your toolbox are to absolutely get certified it gives you accountability but it also is part of that communication piece with your customers getting your customers to see actually we're taking this seriously and we want you to know that we've had someone independently check don't just take our word for it we're getting someone else to look at it as well Communicate it on your social media as well. Communication and bringing your customers along every step of the way is in, as important as keeping your staff in the loop and communicating with them every step of the way. These are my contact details if you'd like to get in touch. And thank you for participating, be the change, and prevent these plastics from going into our oceans from the very source by not using them to begin with. Take care and looking forward to connecting with you online.